Do you have an email account you want to set up in Microsoft Outlook? In this video, I'll walk you through a four-step process to find the email configuration information you need, add the email account to Outlook, customize the email account in Outlook, and finally, test the email account. Let's get started. To get started, you'll need to have the configuration information for your email server handy. In this case, I'm adding an email address to Outlook that I created in my Bluehost hosting account. If you'd like to see how I did that, I'll link to that video at the end of this video. First, log into your hosting account. In this example, I'm using my Bluehost account. You'll need to access your email account's configuration information. If you're not in Bluehost, your hosting account should have a similar method of accessing this information. Under Helpful Links, in the Advanced column, click on cPanel. Next, click on Email Accounts. On the Email Accounts page, look for the email account you will be setting up. In your hosting account, it may be the only one listed. Click on Connect Devices. Under the Mail Client Manual settings, look for the section labeled Secure SSL TLS Settings. This is where you'll find the configuration information you'll need with the exception of the password which you should have recorded when you created the email address. Now that we know where to find the information that we need, let's switch back to Outlook. In Outlook, click on the File menu. That will put you on the Info tab where you'll see Add Account. Click on that. Type or paste your email address into the dialog box that pops up. Then click Advanced Options and click the checkbox next to Let me set up my account manually then click connect. We're setting up a POP account so click on that and by the way if you, don't, if you didn't know POP means post office protocol. It's not important that you know that but just in case you were curious. On the POP account settings page we're first going to set up the incoming mail server so paste in that information from your hosting account. Next set the port to 995. Then click the checkbox next to this server requires an encrypted connection. Now let's set up the outgoing server. It, in my case the server name is the same. It might be different for you. Check your hosting account. For the port we're going to set this to 465 and the encryption method to SSL TLS and that's all we need to do there click next now you need to paste in the password and click connect and we have a success message now we're done uh, with this part so clear this checkbox unless you want to set up your outlook on your mobile phone I'm not going to do that so I'm going to clear that checkbox and click done if you're getting value from this video let me know by clicking the like button Now Outlook has set up a folder over here in your folders pane. And it, in this case, it, by default, it is the email address. You can change the name of this item by right-clicking and selecting Data File Properties. And then click Advanced. Now here you can change the name. And I'll, I'll just say John at my firm. Or it could be me or my email or whatever you uh, want it to be. When we click OK you'll notice that this should change and there it is. Alright we're done here so click OK. Now right click on it again and this time we're going to go to account properties. That'll take us back to the info tab and we're going to click on account settings and account settings again and this will present a list of the email accounts you have set up in Outlook already. I have several, you may only have the one. All right, so what do you want to do is go to the one you just created and click on change. 
and then the pop account settings general settings area you want to set your name and this is important because this is how your email will be seen by recipients okay and account name again you can say John at my firm it is not the same as this I mean it can be the same as that but this is not where you're what you're affecting right now next you need to set the reply to address and in most cases this needs to be the same as the email address you're setting up because when someone gets a message from you and they reply that's the email address that it will go to organization is optional but I recommend setting it anyway the next thing on here is determining how you want Outlook to handle the email messages and these are incoming email messages on your email server back at your hosting account this default setting should work for most people so you can have it leave a copy of messages on the server and then delete them after 14 days or you could change that number to 5, 7, 100 or you could clear the checkbox and never delete them from the server but then your server will get cluttered up but if you need to have a place to archive this stuff outside of Outlook then that's probably a good idea. You can also check the checkbox to remove emails from the server when they've been deleted from the deleted items folder in Outlook. So what this means is when you get an email, especially like junk mail, you delete it, it goes into your deleted items folder in Outlook. Once you cl clear deleted items, it will clear them from the email server as well account successfully updated okay now here's where changing the account name impacted and you don't have to change that but if you have a whole list then it just makes it easier to identify them we'll close this expand that and now let's uh, click on send and receive all folders Now you can see we have an email in our inbox. So, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> we have seven. <laughs> okay, you can see that it brought in this other message here from cPanel. And I talk about that in the other video that I'll link to at the end of this one. And all that is is cPanel sends you the configuration information. But well, we already have that. And then I sent a test message when I was originally going through this to walk through this process. Also, it'll, it'll send you at least one of these test messages. I actually did this several times, so they all show up. What I want to do is I want to send an email from this account to and we're just going to do a test message. And we're going to send it out. I'm going to send it to myself. So here's the message I received from the new email account from John Smith, just the way that I set it up. So now, if someone, when, when someone gets a message from you, it'll have your name or whatever you put. It could be your business name, along with the email address. Now, if I hit reply, it's going back to John Smith. And there you have it. If you haven't already, click the like button to let me know this video has been useful to you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, why not subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are available. Thanks for watching.